before we create our level, what we want to make sure is that we get to the materials that we want. And I've already shown you briefly what I would do. Uh, I would go get a collection and maybe under Nordic Forest. And what you want to do is there's two ways to do it. You can just download them directly. So let's pretend that see these are all items I have exported and this one I haven't. Uh, but where down here. Okay. So what I would say is your students should go get their 10 to 20 items. I'll repeat that again, 10 to 20 items, no more. And make sure they have one of each type. So 3D assets, um, 3D plants, which you can see some plants here and some surfaces. So these are surfaces and you can see my 3D. Uh, here are some 3D assets that I doubt these are 3D assets. So when I want one of these, what I have to do is click on it and i would also encourage you before you read export everything make sure students double check their download settings that they we took off the first three loads and the export settings also and when you're happy then you should export everything in one shot okay so now we're gonna go to unreal engine and we're gonna start decorating so as you can see here's my world and i'm gonna do the first part uh, by going to mega scan so these have i've already exported them from my bridge so now they're in the program so the first thing i want to do is go get a surface and i'm going to go with my icelandic rock and i'm going to drop that on here okay so it might take a bit of time when you do the big thing so just give it a few minutes and i dragged it over and it's not working so one of the things that you can do is click the the, the level so how do you know it's clicked? Well, right now it's unclicked. You see the yellow line? Now it's clicked. And when it's clicked, if you go down here under landscape, you're going to see landscape material. Okay. Now, usually it works when I drag it. So let's try it again. Let's see. Now it's working. If it still doesn't pick it up, make sure it's highlighted and click like this. And then it picks it up automatically. Okay. Now we're going to change this and make it look a little bit better later. But you need to realize this is huge okay and one of the things that you should do is you have a player start that's included uh, and this tells you about the size of what a player would look like so let's go get that and when i click on it if you click f it'll focus to where it is and you definitely want it outside of the you don't want it like this you want it above okay so this gives you an idea of how big this is so when you start creating your scene what you want to do is pick a, a spot to start with. And I, I'm going to start over here. And I definitely want to see my player start. And this is a reference for me. Okay. So now what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go get uh, a few uh, uh, 3D assets. Okay. So let's go to 3D assets. And maybe I want to bring in an old stone well. Again, you pick the, uh, the blue one, drop it in. And you get a sense of the size, and it's a good size, okay? And now I want to talk about uh, the, basically the, the three items that uh, you need to know in, when you're working with 3D objects in a 3D program. So here we have what is called the move arrow. So this moves it up, this moves it this way, and this moves it forward, okay? So now if you move it too far into the earth, you know, you can also, if you remember the hotkey, and that way you can see how you're placing it. So you want to take your time. Now, there's also three hotkeys that I use all the time. So you can use this button, which is the move tool. That's the W key on your keyboard. The E key is for rotate. So maybe you want to rotate it like this because it looks better. You probably don't really want to rotate it too much like that. If you make a mistake, Control Z is your friend. Okay, uh, and this here is if for some reason it wasn't the right size. Okay, if you want to make it just look taller, you go like that, but it kind of distorts it, so you got to be careful. If you don't want it to distort and just make it bigger, you can go like this, okay, from the middle one. Okay, so how did I do that? I basically click with my left mouse button and it moves it up, or if I click the middle one, it'll make it everything the same size. If I click this one, it'll just make it along this axis, 
and if I go along, it'll go along this axis, okay? So uh, that's the second item. So I'm going to go back to my 3D assets. And, you know, sometimes students might realize, well, I didn't bring in enough. And again, you shouldn't have more than 10 to 20, okay? Uh, but I'll just show you. There's a rock. I'm going to bring in a rock. And I'm going to just, if I, so again, you click on this blue one. And I don't like this material. So I'm going to show you something cool here. So you go over here and I want to use uh, this mossy stone that I was talking about a little bit earlier. And how do I do it? Well, I can just click on this material and drag it right on the rock. So if I zoom in, press F. Now you see that my, uh, so I'll just add one or two more assets. And uh, I got damaged castle stairs. I'm trying to create sort of like a, a scene. And again, if I'm not sure, where's my player? So I might want to click the W key to move him. And every item you bring in, you want to zoom in and make sure, you know, it's on the, you don't want it floating in the air. And you'll know that it cuts in when it goes like that. And remember that you can rotate Alt as your friend. You can rotate around. Now, a lot of these assets will do that where you can, half of it, it's not a full asset and that's that's totally fine because we're doing concept art which means we're going to be uh, dropping a character in here and doing photography etc okay so right now that's what you want to do decorate with some of the assets and drop in some materials and uh, keep it basic for now don't do the vegetation yet i'll uh, do a video on that soon okay if you have any questions let me know